The Israeli military released a video on Tuesday claiming to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement a reserve division has begun limited operations against Hezbollah in southwestern Lebanon in an apparent widening of its ground incursion. The military said Tuesday that the 146th Division is the first reserve division to enter Lebanon since it launched ground operations just inside the border last week. The announcement came a day after the Israeli military warned residents to evacuate from over a dozen towns and villages in southwestern Lebanon including the coastal town of Nakura, where UN peacekeepers are headquartered. Israel has called on people to evacuate several dozen communities across southern Lebanon, many of them north of a UN-declared buffer zone established after the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006. Israel says its operations are aimed at halting a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks so that tens of thousands of its citizens can return to their homes in the north. Hezbollah has vowed to keep up the attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. The Israeli military began what it called a limited, localized operation against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon on Tuesday, carrying out targeted ground raids in villages close to the Israeli border. The targets, it said, pose an immediate threat to Israeli communities in northern Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced.
A massive blast outside Karachi airport on Sunday injured at least four people and destroyed several vehicles, officials said. Police and the provincial government said a tanker exploded outside the airport, which is Pakistan's biggest. But the provincial home minister, Zia ul Hassan, told local TV station Geo that it was an attack on foreign nationals. Videos showed flames engulfing cars and a thick column of smoke rising from the scene.